All right, joining us on the phone is a good friend of the Cigar Box Nation, a good friend of Stinkfinger Radio. You guys asked me in a few emails how to play your Cigar Box guitars that you've built, and I've stepped out and got you the very, the only person who I think can explain it best. It is Mr. Kenny Lee Burgess. He is a New York City street uh, platform performer, gets out there and plays on the platforms for all the folks out there, and he is also a very good music teacher that teaches the music theory not only the styles of playing but music theory and here he is right here kenny lee burgess well Reverend Nick, uh, thank you very much for uh, inviting me on your show i'm really glad to be here and have the opportunity to be able to, to reach out to my friends on cigar box nation and, and uh, talk today about how to play cigar box guitar well thank you kenny um I see, you know, when people when people go like to your YouTube page, it says, you know, you you play a style of bottleneck slide that became popular in the nineteen twenties and uh, developed in the Mississippi Delta um, by all the early players, um, Sun House, Charlie Patton, Blind Willie Johnson, and all that. And uh, in finding all that music um, and the difference in styles, can you explain how? The, their style is very different from just standard, regular uh, guitar playing and tuning and all yeah. that stuff? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good question. You know, uh, basically, so the, basically the style that I play is um, known as bottleneck slide blues guitar. And like you said, it developed mainly in the 1920s and 1930s down in the Mississippi Delta area. And, um, you know, I, I think if, if you would describe the style a little bit, I think there's a few characteristics. Like, like one of the characteristics about the style is you play with finger picks. So instead of like a flat pick, you're using finger picks, and you usually you'll wear a thumb pick on your thumb, and you'll wear uh, two metal or plastic finger picks on your index and your middle finger. And what this really allows you to do, this is kind of the cool part, is that it allows you to play two lines of music at the same time. So you're using your thumb to play those bass notes, and you're using your uh, two fingers to play like the treble notes. So you get like two lines of music playing at the same time. So that's, a, that's one of the big characteristics. And then the other characteristic, of course, is that you, on your pinky, or some people like to use their uh, ring finger, you, um, you wear a bottleneck slide, a glass slide, or a metal uh, piece of pipe on your finger to slide on the strings. So then, then the other third thing about it is, is that instead of playing in standard tuning, you play in open tunings, which simply means that you, uh, you tune the guitar to um, a chord. So when you strum it, it sounds a little more melodic, and it's... And it's actually, it simplifies the instrument a little bit. So it's really reduced down to like um, a one key instrument. Because I don't know if you're aware of this, the, uh, like a standard tuned guitar is, uh, of course, when you strum it, it doesn't sound good at all. But it's actually like a compromise tuning so you can play in all different 13 keys. So it's, you know, not a very simple instrument to approach. So using open tunings actually makes it more like a folk instrument. Right, you're allowed to, you get the strumming and you just, you know, there isn't too much of the, uh, I mean, a lot of the left-handed, like, using all four fingers on different yeah, frets and yeah, all exactly. that. Yeah, exactly, you can use, you can really, your left hand, you could play, a, a, you know, because of the open tuning, you don't have to play these complicated jazz chords, you could play a lot of times uh, simple two-note double stops or simple three-note chords, and, and it could sound really interesting because you're playing against those open tunings. You know, what I was going to say about the, um, you know, uh, I brought, a, uh, for today, I have a whole bunch of audio clips that we're going to listen to as we go along here. So uh, what I wanted to say what was very interesting about the bottleneck kind of style playing is that um, you could, when you're playing the bottleneck slide, it could actually be playing the parts that you would be singing, like the melody line. So uh, on clip, um, I guess we'll listen to some of the clips now. Like this first clip on clip number one, what you'll be hearing is the bottleneck singing the melody line without any vocals. And that's what that's what the uh, they used the slide for, right? Was to emulate like the voice, right? Yeah, well, it's exactly, exactly. So that's the kind of cool thing about playing bottleneck slide is that you can learn to have the bottleneck sing for you, and then when you do go to sing, you could actually sing along with the bottleneck slide. So it actually accompanies your voice and makes it. Um, not only sound better, but easier to find the notes. And I think that's a lot of reason why the, the old bluesmen like this so much. So on uh, clip number one, you'll he we'll be hearing how the bottleneck is singing the melody line without any vocals. All right, here we go. <laughs>
it's a it's it's like I said, you're you're accompanying your voice, so you can you can use the slide, you can figure out the the, the notes that you want to play, the words actually, and then you double it up with your voice. So I mean, a lot of the old blues songs, this is exactly what they did, and that's why they used to call it guitar accompaniment. Yeah, that is. It really does. I mean, you're when you were singing the the word. I mean, the slide. It was all. It fit in right perfectly with it. I mean, it's exactly what it does. It's it's amazing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that's why it's so, it's a lot of fun playing this style because you know if if you don't sing like there's a lot of people they they don't like how they sing. But what's kind of cool about it is that once you learn the melody line with the slide, then you can start working on your vocals and back yourself up. It's like you know it makes it sound so much better. You know, like what I'd like to say a little bit, you know, um, so I was talking earlier about the style a little bit, you know, the finger picks, um, you know, at first they're hard to get used to, but they give you so much more volume and so much more tone. And what I really like about them is like they protect your fingers. So you could, you could dig in really, really hard and really loud because, you know, back in the day when this stuff was getting invented, you know, they didn't have electric guitars. So, you know, you had to play uh, as loud as you could. So those finger picks, you put them in. You could just start digging on in, you know? But, uh, so, then the other thing, you know, I didn't really mention this about this was uh, one of the particular things. That same time frame when uh, the blues was getting developed, um, there was also the resonator guitar got invented. Uh, a little before the, the 1930s, uh, John uh, Dopera invented the resonator guitar. So what I did, you know, because it, the resonator guitar it so much increases the volume, and it also has like almost a built-in reverb with this vibrating cone in there. So on clip, um, on number three and four, the next clips we'll be listening to, I really wanted to show the difference because on clip three is a regular four-string cigar box guitar. And then on clip four is the same song, but I played it on a resonator four-string cigar box guitar because I wanted you to see the, the difference between the volume and the tone that you kind of get with these instruments. Are they are they with the finger picks the Yeah, both are both are played with the finger picks. You know, in general in general I always play with finger picks just because I get such better tone. But you know, you you don't have to play with finger picks, but if you were gonna play on the street acoustically, you definitely need them. Yeah, to be like to be heard, like you said, there was no amps and all that. So here yeah, we go. Yeah, definitely. We'll definitely. roll into uh clip three, which is a, a three uh a regular four string cigar yeah, box guitar, right? Clip 